In this demonstration, I will show you how to prepare a wall ready for painting. This may be a wall at uni, an exhibition or show, or even where you are currently living. Therefore, the very first thing you need to do is get permission to do the repairs. If you are living in rented accommodation, you must email the landlord or letting agent for permission. If you do not receive permission, do not do the repairs as this could affect your deposit. If you're at home, ask your parent or guardian. The tools you will need are a filler knife that is only a little larger than the hole you are filling, a tub or tube of multi-purpose interior filler, a medium grit sheet of sandpaper, say 120 grit, too fine and it will clog up with filler too quickly or too rough and it will make marks on the wall. A sanding block. This gives a nice flat finish when you are sanding and if you have a lot of sanding to do, it will also stop your fingers from aching. A drill or screwdriver. There are two types of screwdrivers, a flat headed screwdriver or a Phillips screwdriver that has a tip at the point. You will probably need a Phillips screwdriver. The heads come in different sizes, so make sure you use the correct size. Too big and it won't fit into the screw head. Too small, it will damage the screw head and you won't be able to remove the screw. A dust sheet and a vacuum cleaner. Possibly a claw hammer. And finally, some PPE, which stands for Personal Protection Equipment in the form of some protective eyeglasses or goggles and a dust mask. You need to prepare yourself. So, tie long hair back, remove any jewellery, wear sensible flat shoes and put on your PPE. Then you need to assess the wall to see how much work needs doing to it. But remember, if the wall is bad, you cannot make it perfect again, so don't try. Just tackle the repairs that you feel confident to do. Place the dust sheet on the floor under the area that you will be working. If you are not sure which way the drill head or screwdriver should be turning to remove the screw, try to remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. So to loosen the screw, you need to be turning the drill or the screwdriver to the left otherwise known as anti-clockwise. Once these have been removed, place them somewhere safe. If you have nails in your wall, you will need to use the claw hammer. Slide the head of the nail into the groove, rest the head of the hammer against the wall and use the handle to gently pull back. This will prise the nails out of the wall. Now we are ready to fill the holes. Open your tub of filler and scoop out a small piece. Put the lid back on the tub to stop the rest from drying out. On the lid, smoosh the filler backwards and forwards with your knife to make a smooth paste. This helps to mix the chemicals evenly. Take the filler on your knife, place your knife to one side of the hole on the wall and then gently, with your knife at a slight angle, slide or drag the knife over the hole and making sure that the filler pushes into the hole. You should be left with a very thin layer of filler on the wall. Do not leave blobs or lumps behind as you will only end up sanding it off later, making more work for yourself. If you have more than one hole, Repeat these steps until all the holes are filled. Now you need to leave the filler to dry. Drying times will vary according to the size of the holes and the environment. Remember, the more filler you use in one area, the longer it will take to dry. The filler will change colour ever so slightly and will be hard to the touch when it is dry. Now you are ready for sanding. Make sure your PPE is on correctly. Then. With your block and sandpaper, gently sand off any excess filler. While you are sanding, look for any other small lumps and bumps on the wall surface that could be sanded down at the same time. Now you have successfully prepared your wall ready for painting. 
it's time to tidy up. Carefully fold up your dust sheet and take it outside for shaking or hoover the area where the dust is.